Okay, there are two things, two takeaways from Love is Blind UK that uh, I can already have. What? What? Number one is that everyone boxes. Everyone. Everyone boxes. Everyone is a boxer. And number two, I didn't know that so many children were completely left by their fathers. (laughs) Oh, yes. Foundlings. All of them. (laughs) Yes, and, and they were all left apparently at a gym because that is where they <laughs> casted this show. You cast. There's no such word oh, as Oh, you cast this show, yes. <laughs> Goodness. It is there, many, y'all, there's, there is parental I, I don't think drama it's, in this group. I don't think it's any different than the American thing as far as being fit, though. I know. There was just a lot of gym talk. Oh, gym talk, gym talk, gym talk. I guess today. so. I guess I think oh, of that I think as the people are normal. Way prettier than the U.S. For, like everyone's I think gorgeous. Everyone's on the show. hot. Everyone. They went I across agree. the pond and they just went looking for dick and like, boobies. That's what we do. We look for yeah. dick across the pond. That's <laughs> what we do, y'all. Deep in the lake. Deep in the lake. That that's you know, a lot of people don't know this. Poodle actually is the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this is Love is Blind UK. <laughs> Love is Blind UK. Love is Blind one. UK. The this pod. is reality gays. This is reality gays. My name's Maddie, and that's Poodle, aka Jake. And the pods, the pods are, are the open. Pond. The pods across the pond. The bins are open. Just pop in the bin. I do think they should call them pin- bins. I agree bins. With you. You've said it. They're bins. And I think they say the bins are open. Anytime you fly uh, British Airways, that's what they'll say. Pop it in the bin. Pop it in the bin. Just pop oh, it. Pop it in the bin. Your travel pop it luggage. The bin. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, I should get that tattooed on my back for when I travel. Oh, uh, what do you? What do you? Maybe some time. What's the difference? What, what? What do you see? Let's 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 compare and contrast. Sure, um, I love that. What's the difference between this version and the American version um, for you? Um, Let's start with the hosts. Uh, they seem great. There's very little of Matt and Emma Ellis. Willis at Willis. Uh, yeah, Matt and Emma Willis. Um, she's she's actually a broadcaster and has worked in news. And you can tell that because she's very seems very good at this. Uh, she's like very comfortable they are heads above vanessa yeah. and um and uh nick lachey to me and but you know why there's an authenticity to them well that i i think she used to be that's part of hosting is that you go you learn to be able to quote be hosty but still be yourself and i think vanessa's just herself but it doesn't feel like it's herself. It feels like she's no. trying to put on a show. Because she doesn't know how to do right. the hosty part. Yeah. Right. And he's just like being kind of less than himself, Nick Lachey. Yeah. Because like, uh, and, but these, they're, they're making jokes and I all, I, there's, there's just like an energy that feels like we're with you and it's not like we're, the Lachey's, you know, I'm not a fan. I've, no. I haven't been a fan of them for a long time. <laughs> I still like, I still like them, but yes. That's, no, that's they so. need to go. They're so awful at tell-alls too. They're so awful at reunions. Yeah. I think she'll be great at the reunions because she's done this shit before. Yeah. And he's, he used to be in a boy band. He is hot. You can tell he's got like tattoos. Oof. Oh yeah. His whole body's covered. Have you not Ooh. Seen Ooh. He's a bad right. boy. He's a bad boy. <sighs> Um, oh, no. what do you, what do you think about, I, I wrote Emma's dress looks like something a Spice Girl in 2024 would wear. <laughs> I guess it's that like makes sense. sporty spice kind of, but green and more camera friendly. I, I will say the less lesbian just, vibes. Yeah, the fashion on in general just feels a little bit more trendy, um, and current because like when in the America we go to all different, you know, the UK is a much smaller place but in the u.s like when they're in the south like when they're in north carolina you can tell by the way the women dress it's very different than if they did a show in like seattle or oh i i see you're comparing it to the last season in charlotte yeah Mm -hmm. oh yeah 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 i think i think it's kind of gentle you 
I think is a little more homogenized, you're saying. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you, I, this is really inside baseball. What do you think about the oh, way it's filmed? No. Like the style. We are, we are five minutes into this show. No, 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 no. Come no. up with a conspiracy theory. I this, swear this to is, God. That's not what inside baseball is. Um, I know, but when you start to go in this way, then suddenly aliens. All, or, all I'm talking about is how it looks, how it's, okay, be, how okay. it's filmed. Oh, um, it, uh, it, I mean, I think the living quarters and everything, I didn't, I don't know. No, no, no. What did you The notice? actual quality of the image. I'm saying it's filmed differently. Oh, the actual, it does seem clearer. Is that what it's, you mean? It's that. And it, it looks, I don't know how to say this. It looks less documentary and more TV. I, it's hard for me to explain I, what I it is. I actually think what you're noticing is the lighting. I think it's, I it's, think that, it's that's lit what differently. Because really lighting's what really creates the emotion. Uh, yeah. I think in, and I think you're right. It's lit more like TV soap opera or it, it's, it's lit not in a more theatrical way. Yes, um, I agree with that. Especially even in the living quarters, everything is kind yes. of much more beautifully, warmly lit. Right. And in the U.S. one, it kind of looks like they're in a, a well-decorated bunker with fluorescent lights. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's lighting. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're, I think you're right. There's something you know, about the way there it's are done. No, there, your gay powers are endless. Look at you <laughs> noticing lighting. Look at that. Lighting like, is everything. Did you just get a new mutant ability? <laughs> <laughs> I already, I already can go three. I already can grow three more holes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's another one. There's another one on my arm. <laughs> you would be the X Men mutant, just called butthole. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Any other? The first, the people are really hot. Um, like, the guys are hot. really hot. Uh, and- Yes, and the women are are be- yeah. Just everyone is really pretty on the show. Now we I will say it feels like at least who's been highlighted, y'all. We're gonna. By the way, we're covering the first. There are four drop today, but um, we've watched two episodes, and we're kind of so we're gonna try not to spoil anything from the second episode. But we're just telling you, you might want to just watch, watch them all. Watch them yeah. all before you listen to us. Um, uh, the. But don't you think that, uh, yes, they're all gorgeous, and also there is this, um, it's it's different how the there's like a politeness to, you know, that we yeah. don't have in American, and, and so we get a little bit of that, and um, yeah, I, you said when we started the show, so I'm stealing what you said, but I think it's very true, there's not a lot of fat to this show. It is There's like, not a lot of it's it's very dense. You're yeah, we're saying yeah. they like they get to it and we're in there. Yeah. And I feel like sometimes we get Love is Blind US is um gets a little bit more into like we see more of the relationships in the living quarters and things like that and drama, and, which I don't necessarily love. And to be honest, that never pays off. Yeah. Because it's a lot of people, it's a lot of, as Bad TV says, barbecue friends who we never, mm-hmm. ever see. And yeah. we'd like see one thing. Now, they gave us a couple barbecue friends mm, who I don't know yes. if we're ever going to see. Because we're, we're two episodes in and I've counted how many, because I've started making my chart, of course. Oh, uh, yes. This is chart. how dense things are. We are two episodes in and by two episodes, we have seen um, seven of the men in detail. Okay. And seven of the women uh, in detail. Okay. And, and how many are there total in... Uh, I don't know. Oh, don't okay. Know. Well... Probably kind of like the other, probably like 18 or 20 or something like that. There's okay. a lot of people we're never going to see. I want to see that hot Irish guy, Connor. The one... Uh, 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 God, he's so hot. He's like, I just wanted to get to know people. Um... I'd beg for it, but Irish men are demons. <laughs> um, well, well, they're demons. I've never been with an Irish man, so I don't know. They'll, they, I'm saying they can talk you into anything. They got palaver. They got, I the think they can gab. talk you, I think they can talk you into anything. Oh, you would fold. You're, you're talking. 
Oh my God, you would fold <laughs> so quickly. I, I don't know. You fall for anything. Mm, maybe. maybe. Uh, so what I'm saying is it's very dense. Um, I feel like the this is the, this is the biggest thing for me. They're in their 30s. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Point made. You, I forgot. Mic drop. There's like one is 29 year olds, but it's a very, and I like that. We've, we've been Me wanting too. that forever. Fucking, who was it? Melvin? Melvin was 23 fucking years old or 24 years old. Yes. And no This business. is stupid. <laughs> no, I deeply appreciate that we've had people in their 30s, mid 30s, talking about yeah. late 30s. It really, I think, makes the, it's overused, but it makes the stakes higher. It's so, um, I, I, that was refreshing. Well, it just seems like you get to a point. I, you're not done fucking when you're 25. You're not done fucking. I, I, I honestly was, I was just getting started. <laughs> I was a late You're bloomer, starting though. on your journey. I would not, my mutant would not be butthole. My, <clears throat> yeah. My, my mutant powder would just be needy. So... <laughs> Just fine. You'd just be, you just I, stick to whatever guy, like with the I'd glue. Stick to you like, and smother you. Bleh, and smother you to death and like, kill oh, you. Oh, it's blanket mm -hmm. again. Blanket. I'm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like Rogue, where she touches people and takes their power. I touch them and then I just suffocate them with neediness <laughs> and I can't let go. And I'm like, I'm trying to let go of you. I'm trying. Uh, uh, uh. And then I killed kill another, another one. one and just absorb their mm -hmm. energy. Hey, and then you go to the next guy. Hey, do you like knitting? <laughs> hey, <laughs> that a double stuffed Oreo you got there, buddy? Uh, I, I, I'm happy that they're all in their 30s. I think uh, there's something also that people seem, with the exception of Sam. Yeah, we'll get to Sam. Really, it more doesn't episode, feel yeah. like a lot of people are clout chasers. Um, um I. I I don't know. I'm just expecting it as we go on because yeah. the UK is just as famous for it as the US. So true. Um, uh, so, uh, but I agree with you. My first initial, you know, Love Is Blind is a lot like 90 Day Fiance any, or any Matt Sharp show. Um, if I've learned anything from watching reality TV, is that you can't like anyone because eventually they're going to be horrible on reality TV. It's maybe very hard. we've I had very very few but maybe we'll get a lauren and cam from the u.s in the uk which has been but i, I don't think know. We'll i think love is blind doesn't really follow that model as much they do um, they do seem more genuine in this yeah and and i think a lot of that is because they're in their 30s that's true um yeah. and i don't feel like a lot of them are there for the drama of it um, everyone seems to be very pragmatically focused on doing what they're there to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, there doesn't, there is a short, there's less of it. There's, there's a, there's less an amount of fuck boys in this house. Not so fast, Sam. There's some, I can't stand him. Um, I hate him. He's not great. <laughs> He is not. Uh, I'm going to continue to What's talk about also, that. Also, though, different about uh, already different about Love Is Blind UK versus Love Is Blind US is um, the women are able to trust their intuition and make better choices. <laughs> it's what do you kind mean? Of because on Love Is Blind US, it's like there a woman will always be in a love triangle, and I'm watching it going, "Don't pick him! Don't pick him! Don't pick him!" And well, they always pick the asshole. But there's Nicole. That's she's, what I'm saying. She's an outlier. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. I disagree with you. I think there are just as many, like, just so you as feel many Because like, I guess what I'm saying, U.S. seems messier. But are you, but you know what? Uh, something Chris, that happened at the end of episode two. Yeah. Chris uh, Colin's like Matt Sharp. It's gonna he's not messy. the producer of this, though. Oh, who is, so is this? No, it's a different producer. It's a different production company entirely. Entirely. So yeah. they just bought the version of Love is Blind and then they're kind of producing uh, it. I don't thing. think they bought it. They somehow licensed the, the name. 
but it's a different it's a different executive. Someone producer. slept with the right person in Parliament, or offered them a shit ton of money, or that. Mm-hmm. Um, or there's that. Yeah, it's a different. I, I looked. It's a different producer altogether. Uh, okay, well, so let's maybe jump in. We don't know what to expect then. Then let's go. That's the thing. I to me, this feels like a much more straightforward show. I don't know if we're going to be like dragged around and uh, kind of like made to, and like some people enjoy that feeling of being gooped. And remember, remember in season two where they just like fucked us. I know. Yeah. Some people, I guess, enjoy that. I hated it. You were Um, still not over that. Well, I just don't, I feel like that's not, that's not really what your audience wants. Um, I think, I think they think that they're going to, Get get high stakes and people go. Oh, I think you you could have that, but not when it comes to like the final episodes. And yes, I'm still not over how season two. Okay, ended. that's all. I just need, thank you. I just need to because so much happened off camera. <laughs> A lot happened off camera. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's jump in. Uh, Freddie, thirty two. Ooh, he is so oh, adorable and gorgeous. my god, and so sweet. I, I you use the word adorable. I'm like absolutely, uh, as they say, stunning, stunning. And he's a, st- I wanna, he's a stunner. I want to climb him like the Rock of Gibraltar. He's such a normal white bread guy that you type for you, though. Um, it's his eyes. His yeah, eyes are so pretty. And I don't know why, but some people get freaked out by this, but. I would love to date someone who was a funeral director. I don't think it's weird at all. And I feel like I feel like they would have to really have a good sense and appreciate life if they're a funeral director. I I think though general because our society has a has a has a very uncomfortable uh feeling about dead people. That's just mm. normal for for us. It's it's not necessarily for other cultures. Um, but especially the U S and the UK are pretty similar in that way. We're, we're just like, we don't, we, we're not comfortable with dead people. We're not. Um, but I think since six feet under, I think people are more comfortable with it. But Maybe. when he said, I'm a funeral director to cat, who's a 29 and a dental nurse. Um, also I love the descriptions of the jobs. I'm going to be, I'm going to be translating some of those, by the way, where, okay. where we're like, what the fuck does that mean? Okay. Um, so, uh, and he's like, she's like, when you see dead bodies, are you fine with it? And yes, we're going to do accents. If you're British, if you're British, just think that we're, UK, we're doing it out of love. We're doing it out of love. You're going to be offended. Uh, but she's from Manchester. Manchester. I will uh, cry she's if from I Jersey. ever do uh, Yeah, she's from Jersey. And I went, I forget. And I, it always is funny as an American when someone says they're from York or Jersey and then you go, Oh, that's, that's where all the names come from. It. New York, New Jersey, yeah. all that. Uh, so she says, when you see dead bodies, are you fine with it? He's like, yeah, because that's someone's loved one, and I'm looking after them. And I went, that's a good answer. That's, that is a great, <laughs> answer. great uh, answer. And, and he, then he says, he has like, he has, y'all, he's, he hasn't, he's used this line before. Calm down, I'm not going to embalm you. Oh, well done. I cannot believe this guy isn't pulling girls. I don't believe this. Pulling he birds. Says, he's like, I'm say. not dating. He's like, my love life's dead. And I'm like, is it? Is it? Cool. It doesn't look like it's dead. Um, now, they, she works in, she's like a dental nurse or dental, a dental hygienist. Nurse. I assume that's like, for uh, for us, that's like a hygienist. Yeah. I think so. Um, yeah. Dental hygienist. Uh, again, Jim talk starts early, and he's like, "Well, I, I can't um, believe I'm talking like, about this. Are you, are you going to say you go to the gym twice? Yes, a day? I, go to, I go to the gym twice a day too. Oh my god, oh, yeah. I go too. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> who I look unless when you're they, an when... active bodybuilder or an influencer, who has time to go to the gym twice a day? I think for a lot of people, when they they get up and go in the morning, and then they are then they're done with their day. They have that, they're sitting at home and they had that crushing feeling of loneliness that says, I need to go do something to make myself feel better. Mm. And I will say physical activity does that for me. It makes me feel better. I, so, I don't think you go to a gym though for that. That is true. I just get on <laughs> grinder. 
Um, that, I was that's say, all the physical activity I need. It's the they same go- serotonin <laughs> charge. Same serotonin so. chase. I guess um, so. It's just for <laughs> sluts. We get on grinder. That's true. Um, but I think I think for him, I think it is that. Uh, I think, I th- I think that's maybe just that they're they're both lonely. Mm. Um, that's that's what I saw. I I do think it's a little ridiculous to go twice a day. You're right, unless you're trying training for a bodybuilding. Uh, who has time? Maybe now, maybe maybe they do weights and then cardio later. I I mean I guess you do that if you want to have abs when you're in your thirties. Okay, but yeah, abs aren't that important to me. Um, once is enough. I would um, much rather watch another episode of Help! I'm in a secret relationship. <laughs> yes. Don't sleep on that, y'all. This season's so crazy. <laughs> or even another, because this is, I, so far these first few episodes were good of Love is Blind. So I'd rather watch that. I agree. Now, he says, <clears throat> and this comes up again later in episode two. But so he says he has a brother with Down syndrome and she's like, oh, well, I teach. She teaches um, Down syndrome kids swimming. Kids. Put yeah. a pin in that. That's going to come back later. Um. We meet Catherine, and Catherine says she is Catherine is blonde, uh, beautiful. Um, Guys, look at me and think sex. She she's says. got like a little bit of the lip filler, but not too much. Yeah. But there's a little bit of that. Um, but she's like, I brought home a lot of disastrous men, just disasters. She, she's the most, I would say, of all the women. Um, she's a little. Ladies of London, um, yeah. like there, there, there aren't a lot of of that. Nobody's on a this footballer's season. wife. I was no, hoping for that. No we one. don't really get that. I was hoping, truly. No one. You're right. No one. No one's really a footballer's wife. No, yeah. no. I wish. Uh, later on, we meet Ollie, who is 32, gorgeous as well. He's beautiful as well. He looks the first boxer, just like Craig David. He said that he looks just like him. David, <laughs> you oh come on! Oh, I know him. Tell He's me. a singer. You've actually talked about how hot he is. How do you? How did you completely block that out? Oh, that to the doubts. I was thinking of somebody else, and I thought he doesn't look like him at all. Oh yeah, he does look like Craig David. Yeah, you've actually talked about Craig David. <laughs> I'm not familiar. <laughs> he has that song Monday, Tuesday, blah, 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 Friday. Oh, they sang that song. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they sang it. <laughs> I think you're caught up now. <laughs> well, there you go. Just a little, always, just the cow's tail. Just hey, always a little. That's you know. how I like to live life. So, anyway, they're, they're, the interesting thing here is, is meaning cat. I would refer to his cat from now on because that's what they basically. She's like, I like your voice, and they they talk about voice. what they're doing for a good time, which I think is is interesting because I, I'm trying to think about the U.S. version. I don't know if they do a lot of that, or maybe it's edited out. Um, but I think that mm-hmm. is a, a a a good thing to ask. Yeah. So so it's not just your job or your career aspirations or what do you want to do to get married. You're talking about things like that, which is what, and she's like, I get like to get loose with the girls. And of course she used to box. He boxes. She wants, uh, he's going to train her, train she her. Is, she is giggling. Like all oh, get out. She's like, yo, <laughs> she can smell dick. Oh, she yeah. she can smell it. She's she a dick. Knows. pig. Yeah. I can smell it too. Yeah. You usually do. <laughs> And uh, that's the and thing. I, I could, I would, I would definitely, if I was in Love Is Blind, I could tell by the voice too. I can hear it's like Stephen. I could hear Dick in that voice. Well, we're not going to talk about. We're not. We all. We always poodle. will always use his gift and let us know who has the biggest <clears throat> Love Is Blind dick. That's not going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen until episode four when we have all of probably our until we get every we, we have the whole cast established. Yeah, then he'll use the gifts. So a little tease for you there. Now Ollie says he normally where they're she both from dick, London. By I the think way. he's a pussy hound because I, he says I normally he date used with to my be. eyes. Yeah, and he said, and I'm at a better age now again because he's 32. And so then we have him. He is talking a little bit with Demi, who is 30. Yeah, I just have to say, men in general are completely undateable 
until about 28 at least. 28, 29. If you're listening and you just got engaged to a 29-year-old boyfriend. I I would argue and say 36. (laughs) Well, I'm being kind. Um, (laughs) So people don't throw their rings out the window. Men are undateable. It's fine. We really are. You can marry that man at 30, but just know you're going to have to baby him for about six years. I don't even know. You can have to soft partner him. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Gentle partner him for a while. Mm Mm-hmm. Sorry. I, I, I'm so glad that I wasn't the only person who had a problem with that term. Uh, mm-hmm. It's it's taken over the, That's all from the 90 day term, the all the 90 day memes uh, the other way. <laughs> just talk about yeah. how she's just trying not. To, she's the, the soft partnering means trying not to be an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Um. So anyway, he says, uh, he says, I'm in the best place I've ever been. I want to I want a relationship. But you go go ahead. What we were talking about with Demi. Who is oh. safeguarding an attendance manager? And I and I wrote looked this up. That is someone, it's almost like our we don't think we have this in schools, but it is someone who makes sure vulnerable populations get to school. So like a problem with truancy or something like that. In other words, almost like a guidance counselor or assistant principal would be in charge of. Mm. Um, we don't have that job here probably or maybe maybe oh, some schools do maybe i not to my knowledge but a, speci- a lot of times a guidance counselor will do that will be like assigned to make sure everyone's in class or something like that i yeah because where i where i grew up it was always the teachers that what? the teachers would be doing well, no, that i remember remember uh, though you were you had one grade for every no, that's not possible. For I remember Miss Coley. She went. She drove twenty minutes all the way out to Ronnie Riggs' house, knocked on his door, and said, "If you don't get your ass to school, I'm going to beat it myself." And she made him get in car. Got in a fight with his drunk mom. Not physical, but verbal fight. <laughs> Thank you for saying it's do- not wasn't physical. Yeah, and then she ended up driving him to uh, driving him to school. And the only reason we know about it because. She got a flat tire on Highway 70, and my cousin ended up picking them up and took Ronnie to school and Miss Coley, and then he got her, he fixed her tire for her, and that's it. I don't know if that's the rule at most schools. No, I don't know. Just going to volunteer that. I, I'm just I, glad I, no one died in that story. <laughs> I don't think it's usually the teachers. It shouldn't be. Handling this. No, it should not be. Should not be. Yeah. Um anyway, they're both from London. Um she plays she plays footy on Sundays. And guess what? She boxes too. She boxes too. Everybody's a boxer. I don't know how people box. I tried it limp wrist. It was painful. I did boxing my with my hands. with my Israeli trainer for a while in Texas and it was too intense for me. It's just too much, but I had to learn have, how to punch. I had to learn have, how to punch. Like me, we both have we have feminine gay wrist. It actually. I know. I had to much. learn how to hold it and keep my wrist strong. <laughs> yes, because we always want to be like. I just want to like, punch. We just want to slap you. My, or be my like, wrists, hey girl, my wrists are very lithe. <laughs> yes, I yes. just want to flick flick them around like yeah. Miss Moo with his licorice wrist. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yes. So uh, anyway, she, he, he says Mads, which I, I, I guess is that's mad and that's fun. I, I'm going I'm I'm to start I, saying Mads. Don't. Um, don't. I'll do what I want. Um, and now and she says, and, uh, and, you know, she says, a lot of the dating I've done is short term. And she's like, sometimes I may be a stone heavy or a stone lighter, but I'm still me. I still want love. A stone, I like by the her. way, I looked it up. A stone is 20 14. pounds. Oh, I got four. Google's, Google told me 14 pounds. That's incorrect. Well, a stone is 20 Google's pounds. wrong. So no, it's, that's what it, that's the conversion. Okay, then. Let me look well, it up again. I swear a stone is. Can you. Can no, you, I looked it up today. Can you but, Google it right now? Yeah. What is a stone in pounds? What is a stone in pounds? It says it's, 14. Wow. Yeah. That's what Google says. So. 
Why did I hear 20? Maybe I'm thinking kilos. I don't know. No, that's not right either. I don't know why I heard that. Well, you're right. I'm sorry for correcting you. I wasn't right. Google was. Um, so, so 14 pounds. 14 pounds. So I we don't have, well, again, I'm trying not to say things from episode two. So we'll just kind of put a pin in that. <laughs> but um, she said, but she's also really competitive and her and Ollie kind of like, they're almost like this flirting slash competitive she's like i really want to win he's like i want to win and i'm like just fuck already it's good like fuck energy yeah yeah it is um, good fuck energy. i i do worry that they would just be friends though yeah uh, i i think i think he has to be attracted to someone physically and i'm a little worried about that because she's beautiful but she's a curvier woman yeah so um she is. yeah well. um and and she said, he says, I believe we have a solid basis for a marriage because of friendship, because we already have that. And I was like, oh, there's this, there's a little, there's a little worry about it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, and, but back at the men's quarters, quarters, mm-hmm. uh, Ollie is even saying, Catherine is giving me sexual vibes, but Demi is someone I want to get to know. Um, so, and Catherine is already staking her saying, I want, I want Ollie. That's it. That's it for me. She's um, even talking to Demi about it, like laying her head yeah. on her, and they're because they're friends. So already we're seeing right. Ooh. Sabrina, now, yes, Sabrina, thirty-five, her. director of market marketing and communications, mm-hmm. and Stephen, thirty-seven, CrossFit gym owner. <laughs> yeah, they they really it is very gym really, centric. You, You're they right. Really, just went casting at gyms. <clears throat> um, uh, she, her granny passed away, uh, several years ago and coming again, put a pin in this for episode two, but her, uh, granny coming, uh, passed away and coming home to an empty house. It's been hard for her. So she wants someone to come home to. I, I would say, <laughs> I hear that, but at the same time, I don't know if that's motivation to go out and find a husband. Um, well, that you just want someone <laughs> Look, I, I, I've, I've dated people and they've said, uh, I, I like, it's just nice coming home to someone. Oh, and you immediately said, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Doom! <laughs> Doom! <clears throat> I get, I get that. I, um, I don't know. Uh, I, I, to me, and maybe this is just a trigger for me. To me, that means I'm trying to find someone because I'm lonely. Yes. Not. Because kind of like where um, <coughs> where Jasmine talks about, I want someone to kind of enhance my life. But we'll right. get to that. Um, but yeah, I worry with Sabrina too. Do now we meet Steven and he's also, one of. Oh, I'm going. I will say this is our first Irish uh, woman from Belfast. Ah, uh, and he, he's from Birmingham. He is from Birmingham. And, um, and so she he even says, would you, would you consider relocating? She's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's much more opportunities for me in London. A lot yeah. more. She's beautiful, too. She is. Y'all, uh, this woman's got crazy in her eyes. I can tell. Uh, I, I love her, but she's got crazy in her I, eyes. I like her, too. Um, I'm hoping so. Uh, and but also though, we're gonna talk about later, spoiler alert, when Steven and Sabrina see one another, Steven's got crazy in his eyes too. Oh yeah. Uh, so but um huge but, penis. Yeah. It's uh don't give away the gift yet. Sorry. So he says again, we have first parent abandonment or divorce first topic of this his parents were on and off they split up when he was 16 during his gc se i assume that's like i looked that up it it, we didn't we don't have an equivalent of that it's often younger but it is like they take these certain tests that um are for different subjects it's very important it's how you get like your school credit that you graduated and did so, so it's a really it's not like an achievement test it's like even Almost, it so you have to like take a test like, to graduate. I yes. think that 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 make us, that actually makes sense. Yeah, we don't do that. No, you just get by, and a teacher yeah. will just like pass you because she doesn't want to see you again. <laughs> yes, that's why Miss Coley cried when Ronnie Riggs graduated because nobody thought he was going to get there. 
He didn't pass the test once. He just showed up. But Don't it's still like but it's school? still a win that Ronnie Riggs graduated. Yeah, do you What's he like, doing? Uh I have I don't I don't know. I don't know what he Did you have those people though in school that just they were so down on their like basically just poverty. Um yeah. a lot of them and came uh, coming from very rough broken homes. families, yeah. And I actually think it's I don't I'm not upset by. It. I actually think it was really kind of sweet that some of the teachers and community rallied around them and basically like none of the teachers would fail them because they wanted them just to pass high school and get out of high school and feel like they just kind of let them, they didn't have to, they didn't have to make a 80 on the test. Like the rest of us. I feel like there was some students that just kind of got a, you get a participation degree for coming. Maybe that's just an Oklahoma thing. No, it happened in where I grew up, but I don't think it was right. <laughs> I think we should have. I think we should have. Um, well, I think we could have asked more of them. I think and it's said, different now because I think now we know people learn differently. So it's how do we yeah. get and have different types of intelligence, not the way in the nineties. I I wonder what people think. Having I I, I think what you're saying is. They wanted them to get that high school diploma so they can just get out and start their life. Yeah. Um, that, that I understand, but I, maybe, maybe it should have been changing the system instead of making sure they get through the system. Yeah. That's what I would say. But, but that's yeah. a lot harder than it sounds. So that's fair. Yeah, no shit. So she says, he's like, I own a CrossFit. She's like, oh, you're part of the cult. <laughs> I love an Irish bitch who just says what she thinks without even one bit of filter. <laughs> uh, love it. I'm, That's why I'm my people are Scotch Irish. <laughs> hey, she's a mirror for you at all. Um, so uh, now, but they're talking about he also does, and y'all, of course he does. He does meditation, but he does a cold shower. And then Sabrina's like, nope, you lost me at cold shower. And they're talking about gratitude routines. I, and I have to say, though, for someone who owns a CrossFit gym to, and he says, I'm from a man's world. Me too, Stephen. Uh, mm-hmm. And he says, um, well, I want to live in a man's world. Just men. I love women, but I just kind of want to fuck men. That's what I'm saying. Uh, it is strange for this man to be into meditation and have a gratitude journal. And oh blah, no, blah, I blah. don't think it's strange. I just think that no, I, no I'm no, saying I, I'm, I'm saying it's, it's it's a little not the stereotype. That's what I'm I saying. I guess it's not the stereotype. To me, it feels like he's he's following a lot of the Jay Shetties or whoever on social yeah. media. He's in that. So, but. What's wrong that's with that, it, though, though, for some Nothing's people. wrong with that. I'm saying, like, that's why I wasn't surprised. Nothing's wrong. I, I do a gratitude journal every day, and it's something that's completely changed All the way back from Oprah, High right? High school. Yes. Or middle school. <laughs> Sarah Band, Sarah Band Bretonall is that book. Anyway, uh, big. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. And so, but, and she's like, oh, my God, I do all. It was kind of one of those moments that sometimes, y'all, on Love is Blind, somebody will say, yeah, I get up, I meditate. I go work out and then I come home and shower and someone goes, Oh my God, oh my I, God do I do that. that too. I shower. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like a lot of, but a lot of people do that. That's you not know what, that though? unique. You know what though? When you're, when you're in that place and you can't see the other person and you are so desperate to have some kind of leg to stand on, I kind of understand it, but it feels ridiculous to us when we're, when we're watching it. No, that's true. That's true. Yeah. But I, 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 I often think about like, what would it be like to not be able to, to, to date with your eyes closed? Like, I that? mean, you've said, I th- said, I think I could do this show. You've said you could not. Never do in it. a million years. I would not be able to do this show. I yeah. would, I, I, I need to know what you look like. I need to know. Yeah. I, Cause that, that's a deal breaker. I need to know. I can't, I can't be looking in, we, we can't be, we can't, we can't both have a strong love for Emily Dickinson and French New Wave, and then all of a sudden I see an enormous hairy wart on your face. That's going to ruin everything. 
Because all I'm going to do is stare at that Harry Wart. And you'll walk out there when they re- do the reveal, and the music would swell, and you would say, I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> wart, 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 wart. Nice to wart you. <laughs> Warty, wart, wart, wart. Nice to wart you, wart. Oh, God. I mean, wart. I mean, <laughs> I mean, get me out this polyp. <laughs> <laughs> that is what you would do. Sist you later. I mean, see you later. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't go good for Poodle. Um, so <gasps> can we lance that thing? So oh. anyway, they're like, after the first time, they're like, oh my God, this was crazy. And Steven's really happy. Um, then we get, we always get this in the first episode of Love is Blind. We get the dating montage. Uh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't write any of these down. None of it matters. Uh, <laughs> There's a montage of people dating. And they, day mean, one's gone. they mean even less in this, uh, well, in this version. Yeah, these they, people again, barbecue friends as barbecue we, friends we will said. never see again. We didn't claim it. Dylan and Patrick say it um from Bad TV from their I pod, wonder, but I wonder why is it used for just B roll or used for transitional material? I don't know why they put their names. I don't I, know why I, they put their names, but they just yeah, they just want to show us that time has passed, I guess. But yeah, I don't know why they put the Chirons. I wonder to show it. I, it's there's there there is a certain like there's a certain process for editing in this show, and they have obviously followed the the one that Chris Colin did, but they're 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 deviating it very slightly. And we y'all there have been a lot of iterations. Of Love is blind. The reason why we're doing this is we're not having to watch subtitles and we're dubbing, and um, but I've got to say like it. It it feels slightly different to me, and I like it. It does feel realer, if that makes sense. It feels yeah. less produced in a way. Um. Yeah. Well, yeah. we'll see. Don't get your hopes up. You don't want it to be like season two. Speaking now, of less produced, let's talk about Sam. Sam, thirty-one, project designer, manager, project design manager. I don't know what the fuck that is. People say uh, these. You just put three words like. Uh, uh, systems coordinating master. Great. That's what it feels like to me. I have a cousin who's that. (laughs) (laughs) And he doesn't even know what he does. He doesn't even know what he does. Yeah. I want, I want someone to tell me someone, someone contact me with a, with your job title and, Mm -hmm. and that how it means absolutely nothing. And I, and, and when they say project manager, I just feel like that doesn't mean anything to me. Mm. Maybe I'm wrong. You know what? There's a lot of things I'm wrong about. You know what needs to what needs to mean something to you, and it hasn't because you've made bad choices and you you, your morals get in the way. CEO, that's what (laughs) that's what you need to focus on. That I know what that means, boss. (laughs) Yeah, why don't you work on that one instead Um, of dating the fucking hot mailman with a huge (sighs) dick who bangs you on the copier or the or the Silver Lake director. Yeah. (sighs) God, and yeah, then you're like trying oh, to get dating... his indie film made. Yeah, I'm dating someone in the arts, and I'm like, we're never going to get a studio. That's the truth. <sighs> uh, and uh, this is Jasmine. He's seeing Jasmine. Jasmine's well, first, a mental we, before we yes, before first. we see Jasmine, though, I think it's important to know. Sam immediately says, "I've had a nose job. I've done things to change my appearance. to my appearance. Yeah. I train at the gym." And he's been training hard with a new skincare routine, and he's t- he's, he's taking himself all the, all the dating apps, y'all, and he's on every single one of them. <laughs> so now you continue to talk about Jasmine. Um, he just says, uh, and St- Sam Sam starting. He's like, I love spending time with my nephew and Jasmine. Of course, I can't wait to be a mom. I care for people for a living because uh, as a nurse. He's like, and that's what that's what I am. I'm just like a big kid who wants love. And I went, you need. You need to watch when do you think that's a good thing to tell a woman you're a big kid? You're 31 years old. He is 31 years old. And Jasmine, I think, is 32, 29 or 20. Oh, yeah, she is 29. Thank you. Um, Yeah, that's not a good. Basically, he's saying I need someone to take care of me. You know what I like about what we well, what I love about Love is Blind is that, and we've said this on the U.S. versions, but it truly is a metaphor for online dating because we don't, we see a picture, but we don't really yeah. know what we're getting. Everyone lies anyway about their height and all this shit. But <clears throat> pay attention to, and it, yeah, it could be just the editing, but Sam 
always talks about himself, doesn't really ask her a lot of questions. Totally. And and I bring this up because Jasmine picks up on it later. And and I think for us, for any of you out there watching that are dating right now, like people that have this energy, because it's like Jasmine boy energy. says, I love cuddles and kissing. And Sam, instead of saying like, Oh, that's really nice. Are you a good do? You, are you a good cuddler? He immediately says, "I'm totally I'm a, I'm a good, good kisser. kisser." It's all about him and building and, himself. And her, up. her response: "Oh, okay, good. Um, no, this is perfect to watch. This is like a primer for dating someone with this energy, which is basically mirror energy. You're yep. trying to figure out what they want to say to get into their pants." Fuckboy energy. Yes. And because she even says, you, do you feel like you give fuckboy energy? And he's he says, offended. No. And that's where he said, I'm just a big kid who wants to love, like you said, love someone. And I well, went, it is such fuckboy energy. Even more than that. I'm just a big kid who wants to have fun and love someone. I bet he puts that on his profile. And yeah. the thing about it is, do I think that there's probably some type of good heart in there? Yeah. But it's surrounded by a deeply insecure person. I think um, this feels it's coming from that. I mean, it does. It doesn't feel like he doesn't give me Bartis or what's the guy who did Coke from season two? Um, Shane. Shane. He doesn't give me that type of energy where you're. Shane's like, done more than just Coke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> since yeah. then. Yeah. But you're, it's not that type of energy where you're just like, oh, this person is like devious. I think you nailed it. He seems so insecure. He is painfully, not it. painfully. I mean, even later when he says, uh, I think it's this episode where he says, um, you know, uh, oh, no. When he talks about next episode, when he <clears throat> says appearances don't matter to me and I thought. You got a garbage. Fucking no- you got a fucking nose job. If appearances yeah. don't matter to you, you wouldn't have done that. Uh, I think he's probably. I, maybe he's maybe had a little Botox. Um, sure, but I, I don't think this guy. I think the reason why he's giving, and I think this is true for a lot of people, when they give that mirror energy, sometimes it can be a narcissistic, malip- manipulative thing, and it can also be. They don't know themselves, so that's why yeah, they're giving you. This they're so energy. insecure. They're trying to give you what they think you want. That what you think that what they think you want. Yes, and but what but you to want please you is not what they think you want. But they're giving you what you want, but you don't know that you want it. I'm lost. Uh, <laughs> she's like she's not buying it. She's not no, buying she's not. at all. He's I like, love her. I do too. She's like, I want you to, re-, he's like, I want you to remember me, Sam from London. I bet he just screams that at every woman. It does. Sam from London. Oh, there's something about him that gets on my nerves and it's, and it's, 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 it's the fuck boy energy. It's also, we're going to, we're going to keep going on when he doesn't get his way. And when he's called out, it's actually it's it's he turns to like a petulant child. Yeah, he does. It's something. Um, Later on, let's talk about his second date with Nicole, twenty nine as well. Otherwise known as what's her name? The sequel. Um, uh, mm-hmm. She just reminds me of the person who was of with April? Uche. Oh, with Uche, um, Aaliyah, Aaliyah. Who just what didn't know what she wanted? She didn't. Yep. <clears throat> she does. Nicole doesn't know what she wants. She is yeah. not. And she's twenty nine and head head of brand and marketing. Now that I kind of know what that means. Okay, I kind of know. Like what that you're is. a marketing person. I just don't know what a senior project manager is. Now and Nicole <laughs> says Sam's like he's talking about working out, and she's like I do work out, and Sam's like I train because it makes me feel amazing, not because I'm crazy about my looks. That's kind of what he's trying to say. And I just wrote in this section, I didn't even write everything they said, and maybe there's something you want to talk about. I just wrote, Sam is talking about himself so much. Well, yeah, what she says is, he's like, yeah, he's like, would you do yoga with someone? He's like, oh, I've done Bikram. I've I've, I've done, I've done, I I can do yoga. He's trying, what I wrote down, he's trying really, really hard. He's a try hard. I I knew that. I got it. I got it. You want that? You want that? Which means that, I would love to see a montage of every one of his dates. Yes. 
I, um, I, bet they, I bet they are the same. Yeah. And, and she, yeah. And so then he says, or she says, if you're 90 and looking back at your life, what's it like? Y'all, this cool. answer. He went, it would be one of the best books you could have ever read. A story of romance so beautiful, it would make you cry. And she seems to be eating it up. And I went, honey, don't you have a bullshit detector? No. You need ja- you need does. some of Jasmine's. No, she doesn't because she also ends up falling with Benaya. <laughs> You're going to have a problem with him, right? Mr. Digital Nomad. I think I'm going to have different ideas about him. I don't you. have a I don't have a problem with him at all, but I yeah. just feel like he is I I with him I'm like did you know what this show is about? Because it seems like you don't want to be married or committed to someone. Right. He seems like a nice guy, but he yeah. totally does not seem like he is ready for a relationship. I would agree with that. So that's I where I'm like, I don't that. dislike him, but I just, the whole time I'm like, I think you thought this was Big Brother or The Cube. I think you the thought cube. The, you're on the wrong show, bitch. The, I, <laughs> I think what he saw this as part of naked dating, part of his journey. (laughs) This is the part of this is another part of my journey that I'm on. It and not necessarily to get married. Yeah, in a selfish way. Not I don't want to say negative selfish way because we should cultivate ourselves and yeah. And I, I I love that he's in that free spirit. But for Nicole, she falls for it because it's a life that she's never going to be able to have. Right. Um. I'm just trying to think of if there's anything else about Sam. Um, I don't have after that quote. I have oh, nothing else. One to one now. thing Nicole did say she has been married before. Um, and he says since again, remember the Sam from London. So let's talk about Benaya, who is Nicole and Benaya, structural engineer, structural sorry, structural landscaper. I don't know what that how that. I guess he does like landscaping and creates structures. He, he mows lawns. <laughs> That's what he does. He mows lawn. I'm sure he's probably like a it. like a gardener where you're doing where you're doing stuff to the outside of someone's house. Or he maybe if structural, maybe he does maybe he travels around to like Disney World and does the topiaries there. Probably not, because he does say I'm basically homeless and I just house sit and where I'm where I'm working on. Probably so I think not. he probably with rich people's houses. Um anyway, y'all, he's got long hair. Mm-hmm. Um and he he says he was Super raised in Germany. Vibes. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, and and she's and he's basically I'm technically homeless, and she she's like, isn't that scary? And he's like, well, I'm not living on the street, but um, she then she says she's like, I'm just freelance and self employed. I just kind of live where I work. And she went, that's really brave. And this is when I went, oh no, honey, oh no, yeah. No. She's like, wow, what a great guy. How free. And I went, oh, And no. then she says, and this is interesting. He said, I've hitchhiked from Preston to Budapest. He said, you're really cool. That's something I want to be. Just up and leave. I work a corporate job. It's a means to an end, but I really want to live off the grid. Now, i got to ask you, is this something she really wants? Or is this almost like what Sam was doing? Uh, well, is she saying something he would he thinks she wants to hear? He thinks she possibly. thinks he wants to hear. I think it's a bit of because uh, you said I've never been or I've been to, and so it reminded me of. I guess it would be different of like I've been to Birmingham and Manchester and Coventry on a Sunday, but I've never been to me, and I think that's what I think that's what she's feeling is that he's like. It sounds like he needs to be her spiritual teacher, not yeah. her husband. I agree. And I don't know if this woman's ready to get married either. I would agree with that. Because she I says don't think she knows herself. Yeah. Cause she seems pretty easily led. Um I don't know. She seems she seems kind of lost. Uh, Never in been this. to me. <laughs> Um. All right, day three in the pods. We're done. We're back with Stephen and Sabrina, and y'all. These first kind of episodes, we once we get in, we kind of will stick with the couples. But yes, right we now will. we kind of go in a timeline because it's just easier. Um, but Stephen and Sabrina, 
Sabrina's like, I was surprised how much we connected. And Stephen's emotional. I said, I, I was emotional when we left the room. I, and I just have to say, his, his T-shirt says 1% better every day. That means he's going to be great in like 99 days. Yeah. <laughs> Give him time. No, Give I'm saying time. that's not possible. It should be like point point oh oh one percent better every okay. day. All right. Wow. Well, Think it about really, it. Doesn't really read as well on a t-shirt. That's probably true. Like that. That's why people don't put life is long. Just doesn't read as good as life is short. Life is short though, and long. I and think long. life is both short and long. I agree, but you you're can't right. Put neither that on a of those. Neither of those work on a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, it's better to work. say YOLO. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. YOLO. Yeah. So he I like to wear budgie smugglers. He does wear. I, I bet, I bet he does. Um. So when he says, he, she said, I'm wearing my a bracelet for my granny, and he's like, I'm wearing my granddad's ring. Gave it to me when I was eight. He's passed, and it's been on every finger. Now this is actually beautiful because y'all people. I wonder where those fingers have been. Uh, we talk about this on Love is Blind. Oh, uh, boy. You, <laughs> I you ruined had, it. I'm have sorry. Have you had sex since you got COVID? No. Okay. I, Just, I, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I get it. He is hot. Um, if you haven't, y'all, last season when we did Love is Blind, this is normally on RG+, but we did an interview with our friend Demona Hoffman from the Pod Dates and Mates and from the Drew Barrymore show. And she really like laid it out. This kind of something that we don't, we don't seem to be seeing it as much on these so far of this. We call it trauma dumping. Yeah. And this was actually not a lot of trauma dumping. This was actually an organic way that they are talking about. Cause you know, y'all remember Sabrina is the one who her grandmother died. And so this actually felt like a natural way that the yeah. conversation you, led to that. It you was know nice. what it is? I think I've realized I think it's the editing. The cuz they Possibly. might have they might have had these conversations. It might have been edited in a way uh I think this could have been edited that way too. Mm-hmm. But I think it's the editing gets more and more lurid on the American version. Remember Britney's story about her aunt? And yeah, my aunt, she was thrown to the roof and she died on the pavement. <laughs> That's how we were banned from TikTok. We That's how we got banned from TikTok. TikTok, TikTok. Because they said we were stealing from Netflix. I guess we're not making Love is Blind memes. Thank Just you. not put them TikTok. on TikTok. Thanks, <laughs> TikTok. Fuck you. Um, so what, what it, she even says... For, for kids, when they bring up kids, she said, I need a foundation of a husband and wife before I even think about having kids. But if I don't have kids, I'd be okay. So he's pretty broken about this. Like, and he um, says, yeah, I'd always I thought I have my own child, a mini me that's kind of, kind of got my own DNA. And he's bummed. So the next day. And she, she doesn't sorry. say, I want to say though, <laughs> I can read this might be a little bit in the editing because she doesn't say no. She's just like, I don't feel the urge. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, so yes, yeah, next. Day. Jasmine and Sam date two. Um, y'all, she does reveal that her last re- relationship ended, as she says, badly, because mm-hmm. the re- the re- the reason was he was expecting a baby with someone else <laughs> and lying to her the whole time. So that's badly. The, that's it bad. Makes, it makes sense, though. Good for Jasmine, though, that she. It was able to catch on these cues. I think it'll be whatever happens to her. I think she'll come out of this going, yeah. I have more confidence about my choices. But she says, I, I don't know if I, what do you think when she said, I want someone to stabilize me emotionally. I, I clocked that too. Um, I don't really know if that's someone else's job. It isn't. Um, I think what she wants is someone, what she meant to say, ground me. I mm. sta- stabilize means you actually feel like you need someone to make you stable. But y'all, um, as a friend, I'm telling you now, it's been 22 years and I have yet to make Poodle feel stable. Because uh, I don't want it. Because <laughs> I'm great. I am chaos and I'm great that way. <laughs> if you want me, you're going to get chaos. <sighs> It works That's just for you. the way I, it I is. Won't, I won't argue. It it works. Um, Keeps the men around. 
Okay. Well, not around a lot, very long, but um, keeps, them, keeps them coming back, I guess, and visiting a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Uh, until they find out they caught something. Keeps them hungry. All right. Okay. So she says, because, um, you know, last time Sam mentioned, like, he talked when she asked the fuck both, and he's like, well, if you saw my Instagram, you might think. And she People said, might perceive me ways, yeah. And she said, well, let's go back to that. You mentioned your Instagram. And he's like, well, I did all this training. And so I take my shirt off sometimes. Y'all, that means it's nothing but just shirtless yeah. body pics the entire it's, time. Yeah. And, and he, he said, said, if I'm standing at a bar, no one can see how, quote, wonderful what? I am. I think beauty's only skin deep. And Jasmine goes, you think that? Ask him about his nose job. And then he's like, then to deflect. He says, I got to tell you, I got butterflies for you. You're the only person who gives me butterflies. This is the equivalent, the love is blind equivalent of love bombing. Uh, yeah. When you're, so you're, he's trying to get, and yeah. She, that's I, she, her response. She says, I want to make a man, who, I want to be with a man who makes me feel safe. That's great. That's actually a healthy thing to look for. But then she says, and then the reality of it is, she's like, I want to feel chosen. I go back and forth on that word because I feel like sometimes if you say you feel like I, I would want to know what her definition of that is. Cause I don't yeah. think we get clarity because some people say, I want to feel chosen and that almost feels like they feel unworthy. Yeah. And when I think someone she, chooses she, them, they she feel does. Lucky. She does feel unworthy. And yeah. I don't, how could she not after a horrible breakup like that? Yeah. So I just, uh, let's okay. go on to Jasmine state with Bobby. Who is 33, a luxury shopping guide on a cruise ship. What is that, Poodle? That is someone who kind of, in those really nice boutiques on cruise ships, helps you buy Fendi bags and jewelry, and they're good salesmen. And may or may not sleep with people on board. (laughs) Now look. Bobby is, he's really hot. He's, he's got really big cute. ears. And I think that's so cute. You just want to hold on to him while he's doing stuff to you. Just, you know what I mean? You've, you've just, talked about ears as handles so, yes, so much. Yes, just, I'm, I'm here. You know, I'm here for it. That said, he does give me, I really like him. He seems like a nice guy. And he's the only one as I watch this where I'm like, you feel way too emotionally young to be here. I, I kind of feel that way too. Maybe even he though he's younger. 33. But he's 33. Maybe he just, because he does look young. So maybe it's that. I, I think he nice says, guy. I'm very caring, empathetic, raised by a single mom. Um, I have a, another one whose father left. Um, yep. mm-hmm. And he says, I want a family of my own. And I, I think what it is, is we don't get a lot. There's not a whole lot of footage of Jasmine and Bobby. Um, there's not, she tells this girl Priya in the Jasmine tells her in the women's court. She's like, I had a good date with Sam, but something tell is telling me it's off. And I went, and at the time I wrote, girl, that is your gut. And I hope you listen to it. Right. Um, so we let's, get, we're, yeah, let's go, go back to Benaya and Nicole date two. Um, he's been single since 2012. So 12, time. 12 years. Um, and his only serious relationship ended then. And <sighs> this is tricky. And he's like, he's like, I want to go back to the mind, body, spirit stuff that you were talking about. And he does talk about his nomadic lifestyle. And she's like, but I would like a base. So here's the thing, y'all. She's a corporate person who, who longs for some type of life outside of it. But she also needs stability. And this, oh, this. It's I, like Statler getting into that lesbian I, van. I know. Dempsey, traveling around the UK on 90 you, days. She thinks she can do it, but she's not ready. You want something unfamiliar, but you're too afraid to jump. Yeah. And, um, and he says he had a difficult childhood. Self confidence, self worth, but all these. Things. But I'm, 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 I'm at peace with it. And she said, "I, I envision a free, liberating life with him." And and they are, they they do. Oh, she's so. She is unfortunately using this time to be dreamy about these men, and yes. dream about what they could be. Everything about what they could be, instead of what they're actually telling her. 
Yeah. She's making yeah. it aspirational. Yeah. And that's – She's – well, <clears throat> I'm going to say it. You knew it was going to come out. It's been a while, almost a year since I've said it. Y'all, he's future faking her. She's getting future <laughs> faked by these guys. No, because she really do does you, with Sam, for Do you sure. think this is all future fake? Yeah, but I think she's doing just as much of it. She's Yeah, yeah she's – Kind of future faking herself, like right? Her internal talk. Yeah, I, yes, I agree. Yeah. Um, very, yeah, very aspirational. That's a great word for it. It's that's th- this is, and that does not work on Love Is Blind. It just doesn't. Well, it doesn't work well. Ah, <laughs> uh, um, hasn't stopped people before. Sabrina and Stephen date three. Um, y'all, they're they're heading towards it, and. They're talking about kids and how he's like, my head scrambled about our our date the other day. And he said, again, I I know I want to be a dad. I know I'd be a good dad. And she said, for me, I just don't think it's a definite to have kids. It's important to build a life with a husband and a wife first. And he says, I fully respect that. And then she's following up with, I might not be able to conceive naturally because I'm 35. Y'all, she is literally trying to see how how much she can push this guy away and and what's interesting here is it's a brave thing she's putting it all out there and in in a way this this could have this could be this could work one way or the other i still think she's got crazy in her eyes and i can't wait to see what the rest what she does the rest of the season but what she is doing is airing all of her things that that she's been told don't tell men don't tell well, men you don't want to have kids because you'll run them off. We'll, we'll and get to, we'll get to that. But to here, bit. but she says I might not be able to conceive naturally, and it would be either surrogacy or adoption. So she's literally laying it out there, and he said, "I'm here for that." And I and wrote, then eek, this doesn't get fixed in a pod. <laughs> but the weirdest thing is, as soon as she had said all of her kind of fears about that, she was she was okay. But yeah. then she's going to drop more. When yeah, my parents divorced at 13, she's like, here's some more. Here's another depth charge. My dad wasn't around. Dad never. And y'all, he never contacted her again. They just leave and you. And, and what, what, they just explain. ghost. She, her dad wasn't around. And she said he wasn't around a lot. And I would contact him. And one day I said, I'm going to not contact him and see what he does. And to that, he never contacted He her never again. called again. And then later on, she said, there's even more. <laughs> there's She's more. Like, and then my mom took me to dinner at an Olive Garden like a year later. And I thought that was <laughs> weird because my mom never <laughs> wanted to go to Olive Garden. But what I realized, she was going to tell me that my bio dad is actually from Italy. And when he Did, found out my mom was We're having the pregnant, tour of Italy, which is what I took and got yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, um, and she's like, and then I got pregnant in Verona. And he left me. And so. Have some of your tour of Verona that's coming through. Yeah. He never didn't want to have anything to do with though. the baby. Yeah. So now I went, oh, this is why. It's all making sense. Unlovable. And she says, I, it's hard for me to let my guard down. You know, but Steven says something that I think <laughs> is really was kind. He said, that hurts me to know you've been through that and you had yeah. to go through that. Then he says, you should know this about me. And this is this this isn't this kind of trauma dumping that we saw. Um it's this is different. now Feels him more saying organic. Yeah. I love that word, him saying, I was seeing someone, a longtime girlfriend who I thought was my person. I hate that term. We were gonna get married. She was ill for a few months, and then the consultant uh, the consultant we saw said, It's a tumor. And he said, for the next few months, I watched someone who I love fight for her life. And after eight months, she said, yeah, I know you've been here every day and been with the chemo, but I can't do this anymore. And I need to, I need to do me. I'm going to do me. <laughs> I'm going to do me. And, and, <laughs> and Sabrina was like, is she okay? And he was kind of like, I oh, think so. <laughs> I think so. And I wrote. I screamed. Because I like Steven enough. Mm, he seems fine. But then I, but this almost feels like a poodle take that my mind went here. But I thought he used it as like, oh, he was heartbroken during this. But I thought. 
What a wait simp. A no, I thought, wait a minute. You mean someone was going through cancer and realized that her boyfriend was worse than the cancer? Yes. He broke yes. Up with him. Yes. That's what I thought. And I went, you mean the girl chose cancer? Cancer over <laughs> him. <laughs> I got to say this, though. He might have been a lot. That that's the thing. He might have been like crying and shit, and she's like, you know, I could either fight you or cancer. I don't think I have the energy for both. I think this guy's got bones in his closet, skeletons in his closet, y'all. I, I will say this though. If I had cancer, I would not break up with someone. Um, I would break up with them when I went into remission. <laughs> ah, that's good. Because I need something to hold on to. You, you would ring the bell that day and go ding, 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 ding. Get out. As soon as, soon as my scans were clear, <laughs> I'm we're single done. again. I need to. I, yeah. I, I promised myself that I'd start my new life with someone better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you were my cancer boyfriend. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I bet that <laughs> happens more than you think. I think so too. And I think it's fair. Uh, so, <laughs> Come at us if you had a cancer boyfriend. Um, or an illness boyfriend. Okay, all right. And you decided when you got better that you wanted someone better. Now Sabrina says I afterwards she's like I feel like I would never have given him a chance in the real world, but I really, I really like this guy. And Stephen's like, oh, what a relief! The child thing we solved it in ten minutes. It's okay now. <laughs> it is. <sighs> it is quickly solved. Cat and Freddie, uh, date two. Um. You know what? I'm interrupting you here. Okay. Y'all, instead of talking about it, I think this is better. To, hold on. I got to put on lip gloss if I'm going to play her. Um, <laughs> instead of playing, instead of telling you, I think this is time for our, our first. Our, our inaugural, our premiere, Love is Blind UK Theater. Okay. Poodle's going to be playing... Um, I'll be playing Freddie, I believe. Freddie. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be playing Catherine. And oh, so imagine they're sitting in the pods. Catherine's not already on the floor, kind of with a blanket draped over her, looking vulnerable and um, has a Kleenex in her hands. And Freddie is laying on the- Laying down with his- Couch flexing his, his beautiful muscles. Pendulous dong, just oh. like- uh, like just like go, like like lazily French, sleeping yes. on his leg, like, like the French, French pole, pole vaulter. vaulter. <laughs> God, that dick! I must have watched it thirty times. It's a huge French dick, and I feel sorry for him because that is heartbreaking that you lose the Olympics that way. But, but did he lose? Life. Did you? Lose? Did he, he really life. lose? You win at life. He's been a winner ever since he was born. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Nurse. <laughs> God, yeah. and everyone, y'all, everyone's been sending it to me, yes. No, oh, yeah, well, yeah, they posted in the squad, everything. I was, I was literally counting the minutes yeah. to where someone posted in the sissy squad. Um, the thing about that penis is it wasn't just, it's, it's, the thing about that penis is it's, it was, it, it was almost like a sweet potato he was, he was smuggling, or like a large rat. <laughs> It had a yeah. it had a heft. Yeah. It had a shape. Yeah. It had a mind of its own. When yes. when it hit the bar, the penis kind of went. Well, I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> Don't count me out. Nobody exactly. puts nobody puts penis in a corner. It almost had a certain resilience, like a bounce. I was oh watching. I, Leslie I've never Jones felt on her Instagram watch that was one of the <laughs> best things I've I need ever to seen. watch. I it's need to watch. Really, really, really great. I need to anyway. watch. Okay. Did, did you see the commentators? Oh, they're Everyone like, went, well, uh, uh, uh <laughs> um, <laughs> they didn't know what to say. It was great. All right. Sorry. Let's get back. Let's to get this. back to the theater. Love I'm sorry. UK that, theater. that was very important for us to we discuss. Were dick strap. We need As to talk a gay about podcast. It on the, we need to talk about it on the free show because this isn't yes. going to air until a week after this. All this happened. is a free show. Oh, that, no, but it's not going to air until like a week after it. I That's see. That's true. Yeah. Y'all, we're recording this on Sunday, August 4th. Thank you, Netflix UK, again for giving Thank us screeners. Thank you for giving for us this. screeners. We greatly appreciate it. Um, <laughs> all right. So, and. Action. Hey, what, what, Hi. You, uh, what you doing? Oh, I'm 
nothing I'm uh, you know I'm just sitting here on the carpet um like you know just like wondering if my roots look bad or not and you know they look, I'm sure they glad look to wonderful be here with you okay so like you know Freddie what uh what's your last what's your last name oh what's it's Powell name? what what were you what are you are you, are you oh assessing God. are you assessing oh my God. Powell oh my god oh my god oh my god I know I know some pals. Oh, really? mm -hmm. Why am I emotional at the uh, like well, I, what's 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 your like, middle name? My my middle name is Mary. Yeah, it's Mary. <gasps> mm -hmm. Oh wow. What? What? My oh my, grand's, my grand's name was Mary too. No. No. Yeah. No. She this was. is this is this is bollocks. <laughs> oh my god. Stop. Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> Grandpa's what, what, name. My what my grand my oh. granddad's name. Oh. Bill. Bill. <laughs> my granddad's name was Bill too. Shut up. Shut up. My granddad's name was Bill. Oh what, my god. Wait. What about your fourth cousin? You got a John. fourth cousin? John. Shut up. Wait, <laughs> your, his name was John? Uh, I have a fourth cousin who dated this guy because he's gay, and that guy's name <gasps> is John. It's like we're faded. <laughs> I love well, you know, you. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what if I told you? What if I told you my great great grandmother's name was uh no. was no. was no. was no. Margarine butter. Mine was Penny. <laughs> <laughs> Still, we got a lot going on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and scene. I would like to <laughs> just interject. Not, not to, not to leave, not to take anything away from the power of the stars here. Ah, uh, yes. Uh huh. But Mary is an extremely common name. <laughs> that is. And so that is Bill. Is, so is Bill. Like, especially at that time, probably at that, that time, time. In, in the UK. It's like my father's middle name is Ray. And I know so many. And my yeah. mom's middle name is Sue. And guess what? She has like three friends that have a middle name, Sue. And you can take what you want to from it. But it was just the fact that it was Mary and Bill. <laughs> like, I like, guess that that name is gonna be that name is gonna be Brayden. Like my grandfather's name was Brayden. Like in like sixty years. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, my my great grandmother's name was Brinsley. <laughs> Bran <laughs> Bransley. Bransley. Yes. Bransley, and so it's gonna. Oh my god! My my great my, grand, my, my great aunt, her name was Mackenzie. <laughs> <laughs> Brinsley, oh, Brinsley, throw, and throw, then throw on a flight of stairs. And my other cousin, her name is her name is Drea. She's Dr. Drea Downey. Dr. Downey, daughter Drea Downey. Those idiots. Those, those Downey, stupid, Downey. those stupid you know David, buck tooth morons. I still think about them. Do you know David Downey and Dennis Downey? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. That's an extreme sisters reference. Drea, 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 Drea Downey's do wedding was in downtown Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> If you did, that's this, that's oh. that season of Seeking Sister Wife. Oh. Uh, not sorry, that season of of, of Extreme, Extreme Sisters. Sisters. They're they're all wonderful in their own way, but there's a there's like a joke uh, sister couple every every time. God, mm. why is it the fucking weirdest shows give us sometimes oh, our best the best? And I don't know if any of those are coming back. 
I don't know. I don't know. I Mama's tune. Mama's tune. <laughs> That's Mama's tune. So Catherine's like, y'all, and Catherine is crying. It, and when I say she is crying, there's actually like pools of tears she gets, she gets under where nerves. she got her fillers. They're yeah. just like laying there. She's sobbing. And she's like, I feel a sense of home. Like we have these things in common with family. We can relate on a deep level. You, you know what's interesting? I think it's in, when she's not wearing a lot of makeup. You actually, it's people who have, who had work done, when they don't wear a lot of makeup, you can see it more. Yeah. Um, it's almost like when, when, I, I see it more with women, obviously. Um, but when women, they, you have to put more makeup on sometimes when yeah. you've had a lot of fillers. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. She goes on a, Catherine goes on a date with Ollie. Now it is interesting, like, and Ollie senses this too, actually. She's so much more sexual with all y'all, because like you said, it's kind of like, uh, Catherine can smell. She wants that. She can smell dick. dick. She wants that boxing. They're talking about what they wear, PJs and all this kind of stuff. And Ollie says he's kind of in a, a predicament because he said, uh, Demi is more cool and there's a vibe there. And Catherine is presenting this sexual image that normally won't so good for Ollie. Cause he's like, that's old me. And this normally doesn't lead me to the right girl. Yeah. So we see Demi. If he and, would have done this show when he was 26. Oh, you would have. Can you imagine? Up. I yeah. agree. I think that is a difference of we're seeing these guys. Um, and, so Demi and Ollie, and she asked, I thought this was a great question. Like, if I'm feeling like rubbish and I'm snappy and I'm a little angry, like, how would you handle that? And they talk about it. Um, and he said, some people need space, but you don't seem like that type to me. And Demi, it, it's her face looks red for filth. And I think yeah. that's the moment she fell for this guy. Well, I think she said, uh, he even said, um, he says, I know where my heart is, so I don't want to be too vulnerable. And and she said, or she, sorry, he says, where is it? And she's like, my heart's here. And did you cry? It was, I, I, I just thought it was a really lovely moment. I, I, I did tear up a little bit. Um, and then he said, right now, I'm not hundred percent sure. And her face falls. I, I will say it seems like the men are being aren't just talking a big game here. It doesn't seem like they're menning as much in this. Yeah. I, we're probably going to La- be proven wrong. Last season, season six oh. of Love is Blind America was one, of, was one of the worst for that, where the men were talking out both the, sides of their the mouths. The men were terrible. Great season, but terrible. Yeah. Ter- that was the season of girl power. Yes. Yeah. 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 So he's like feeling, Ollie is feeling this guilt. Um, and he tells her this and she kind of takes it. She's like, it's understandable. And he's like, I've never done this before. Um, we see a little bit of Catherine and Demi both talking about Ollie outside. And yeah. Demi says, she's my friend and I like her, but I like Ollie and I'm a people pleaser, but I'm not sacrificing my connection. I love this. Time to put myself first or I'll end up with 10 cats and I don't even like them. <laughs> Exactly. Um, and Cattyman says, Demi has a strong connection with Ollie, but in the outside world, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's talk about, let's talk about Sabrina and Steven's uh, last date here. Although, they say, I love hearing your voice. I've got a gift for you. Okay, y'all, this was a good poem. The, it was the a po- good poem. The po- I've got to say, you stole my mind and my heart too. Can I say something crazy? I love you. Can I take your hand as I take a knee and ask you something crazy? Will you marry me? It's got a parallel construction, motherfucker. <sighs> oh, God. Think about, think about the difference with singing. We heard Zach's song. Oh, We yeah. had that horrible, that dumb song that Kwame sung for Chelsea. Oh, yeah. Like, that was bad too. Awful singing. Terrible. Yeah, terrible. And we're going to get more poems later on that I think are this was and the, rapping. Ra- which, they're okay, but I think I'm going to say, I don't know how you feel. You died a good, you actually have a degree in poetry. So uh, I will let you be the last word. But I would say this is probably the best poem we've had on Love it is was, Blind. It was short and sweet. And it didn't, it didn't, it, it knew what it needed to do. Mm. It rhymed, yes. Um, it wasn't very long. It was simple. Elements of Mary Oliver. 
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. Never mind. Wow. <laughs> anyway, um, and anyway, he's uh, I I teared I teared up. She's overcome. Where to start? You're incredible, amazing. But this this is uh, obviously y'all. He says, "Will you marry me?" Um, and she's like, "This has been an incredible journey. I'm so glad I could do this with you." But and we're gonna have to leave it there. We're gonna have to leave that there. We're gonna have to leave this here, everybody. <laughs> That's a, the end of episode a good one. ninety minute. Um, this was a very long episode, very dense. Um, the next episode isn't as long because we're no. We'll, we start to get yeah. in the rhythm, and we've met people, so yeah. it gets. But we I like to, this season so far. I like the first two episodes a lot. So y'all, we try to watch as we pod, so then we don't spoil it for y'all. But um, yeah. Um, and again, if you want to listen to the second episode of this, we would love for you to, it, to do that, you got to be on RG plus. So to do that, you can go to patreon.com slash reality gaze. You can go to reality, reality gaze.supercast.com. Um, and you can, on those, you can subscribe to at least the $5 tier, the lowest tier, and that will get you love is blind. If you want to subscribe to us on Apple premium subscriptions via the Apple podcast app, you can do that. That is only the $8 tier. So that will give you love is blind. And it also will give you love after lockup, oh, which was an amazing shows. episode and welcome to Plathville. And it will give you every single podcast we put on the public feed without any commercials for wine. Oh, poodle. For your pleasure, for your pleasure. So and that's, mine. And that's where you, we look, got your money. If you, <laughs> yeah, it's true. If you want to talk about this with other people, we got to follow us obviously on social media, but we got to say the Facebook group comes alive. Our sissy squad comes alive during love is blind. And yes. I will say particularly on Patreon, the comments on yeah, Patreon. We get tons of comments. Pa the Patreon comment section for love is blind is always lit. Always lit. So you can check those out. Um, again, where, the way our goal is, as long as we keep getting screeners, we will be dropping these episodes 24 hours after the Netflix drop. Yes. So that way you can binge the show and then binge the gays. Yay! There you go. Have your way with us all night long. Just like a normal Saturday night for both of us. <laughs> um, all right, everyone. Thank you so much for jumping in. We... We love love, and we love love is blind. It's He's, one of our favorite things to I talk about. I think Stephen about. said it later. I love love. He does say, and I wrote, yeah, love love. I love I love. Thirsty. Anyway, we appreciate you so much. How do we end this uh, show? Remember. Oh, I do, do. I do remember now. Yeah, yes. go ahead, Poodle. But oh, you have I to do it in a British accent now. Oh, okay. Um, and remember, if your father left you as a child. <laughs> a child. And, and you've been nothing but a foundling. Mm. Just ask yourself in the middle of the night, mm. is, is love, love blind? blind. Love is blind. Love is blind.